Good morning, everyone. So this is my original trail camera battery box. It's a six volt, one watt solar panel. I use a soldering iron to melt a little hole. And I use this little circuit board. And my batteries were recycled. And so I already had a little uh, metal plate to solder onto. Normally you don't want to solder directly onto these batteries. It's not a good idea. You don't want to apply too much heat too long. You can damage the battery. But that's what I was doing. The setup works real well. However, I have an improvement. This is my new battery box. It's five volt, but it's a one and a quarter watt panel. So one watt, one and a quarter watt, and it's still high enough voltage for the circuit board to charge the lithium battery. The other improvement is I'm using a battery holder now. I found these little battery holders for real, real cheap. I don't know, like 10 of them for a buck or two. Um, and I solder that directly to the board. And so that means when the battery goes bad, I just pop it out, pop a new one in, no soldering required. Also, it's safer. I'm not worrying, you don't have to solder directly onto the board. I also took a drill and drilled out these holes, which is just faster, easier, smarter anyway. Oh, focus, focus, there you go. So I soldered out that hole, so that really cleaned that up. And you can see the six volt means I have set it for six volt output. And I also soldered out that little hole. On my original boards, I just used a hot iron and melted the hole. Um, so anyway, those are the improvements. I'd recommend it. I used a little bit of heat, sh two pieces of heat shrink tubing to help keep it from trying to slide out. I bought, it was like 24 or 22 gauge wire with two wires inside and soldered them and bought plugs. Some of my earliest boxes, if they were salvaged, uh, DC plugs from other stuff. This looks way cleaner. I ran out of those anyway, but these are way, way cleaner setup. Really easy. Uh, the nice thing about doing this this way as well is you can actually solder the battery holder onto the board and it's not a live circuit. You just don't put the battery in. With this one, when you're soldering the battery, something becomes live. So you want to solder these wires onto the board first, and then the last battery, the battery on last. And yeah, I just reused some white wire on this one because that's so much scrap white wire around. It didn't matter. It's easy to trace. But normally I keep color coded. Anyway, so there you go. Um, I have actually been using my six volt packs for a while, for a while. they have actually been working very well I the only problem I've actually encountered when using these is I was trying to run two 12 volt cameras in front of my coop my chicken coop and I was running two 12 camera volt cameras off of one and they were shooting in the neighborhood of like six thousand pictures in a matter of four and five days and it just couldn't keep up that's a lot of pictures in such a short amount of time that is not a normal operation most trail cameras are only shooting a couple of pictures a night um and that's what it took to lip to kill one of these to actually wear it down to the point that it can't keep up with the camera six thousand pictures in four days or something. And with this one, having the slightly bigger panel, uh, I bet it would actually keep up a little better. Uh, the other thing too is, is with these circuit board, there's a couple of different technologies you could use when you're using solar power. Uh, PWM and MPPT. Um, actually, here's a MPPT solar controller. Uh, they'll have this choke here, this cool, oh, focus, there you go, nope, 
they only have a coil. And what it does is it's converting all that power, oh, focus, from whatever the solar panel's output is, because it'll vary, and it's gonna step it down to what you need the power to be. And that's MPPT, and typically they're more expensive, but they're make they're more efficient and make much better use of that power being created. There's a PWM controller, which is much cheaper, and it just cuts off the power. So if you only need, say, 4 volts, everything above 4 volts, it just chops it off. You just lose that power. It's just amperage lost. In an MPPT, what it does is it takes, say, that 6 volts, and it's going to drop it down to 4 volts, but it's going to increase your amps. So you get more charging input. Because you're only talking, with this panel, like 0.16 of an amp. And this one's like 0 0.20, 0 0.25. You're not talking much. But anyway, so the long, longer, uh, and the MPPT is more expensive because of this, this extra function. Uh, but a, a PWM, because, because it is just cutting the voltage off, it's a lot cheaper. For much smaller setups, it's more makes more sense to just use a PWM because you're talking like ten bucks versus a hundred bucks. But longer story short is this circuit board has a choke right here. It has a little coil, but that's on the boosting side of the circuit board. I don't see a coil on the charging side. So I think that's what they're doing. I don't think they're actually trying to step that voltage down and give you more amps. So, by being at 6 volts, I'm actually losing more power than with the 5. I'm still going to lose voltage because these batteries only go up to 4.2, and so it's going to cut off. But I'm, only, I'm losing like a volt. Whatever power is above that 4 volts with this, I'm only losing. Versus with this one, which is like a 2 volt difference. So, I'm thinking this is going to be more efficient and provide more output. But either way, oh, the cost difference too is, is next to nothing. It's like 50 cents more for this panel than this panel. And then this little charger, the battery holder, was maybe 10 cents or something, 20 cents when you buy them in bulk. I mean, it's like, why wouldn't, why, why didn't why would you do it? I mean, you're already saving quite a bit versus those bigger boxes that cost like 50 bucks. Um, and if I had... Found these first, I would have done that. And I, like the same with these little battery holders. If I had seen the battery holders first, I would have just done that. Because why not? Talking an extra buck. I mean, that's a barely a four or five dollar box. Anyway, hope it helps somebody. Go with the upgrade. Wanted to share this. Either way works. I mean, this still works. I'm actually still using them in the field. It's just I had to build more. And this is what I came up with. Y'all have a good one. Bye.